Yo, what's up guys? It's Dakota from twitch.tv slash Dakota. Links in the description if you guys ever want to check out my live streams. To see what games I'm playing and all that fun stuff. Right now I've been playing some Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Destiny 2, the new season of the Seasons of the Worthy. It's been a lot of fun. I love it so far. And I've also been playing a little bit of Forza Horizon 4. So if you guys are interested in any of those games, hopefully I'll be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield soon. Um, We'll see once I finish Let's Go Pikachu, but it's a little ways down the line. But if you guys are ever curious, link's in the description. Check it out. Drop a follow. I would really appreciate it. But today's video, you guys, is going to be talking about my Twitch channel and my Twitch bot. Um, I do use a own custom like Twitch bot on uh, Stream Elements or OBS Live is what I use to stream and stuff like that. So I'm going to be kind of doing a little like guide tutorial type of thing. Um, walking you guys through everything that I use with Stream Elements. So the first part here is going to be basically setting up your bot account and uh, things like that and kind of how the commands work with it. So yeah, if there's anything I missed throughout this video, you guys, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to respond to you as well as add details in the description, you know, to help out if I did miss anything. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you guys again how I have my bot set up for my account. So here we go. All right, you guys. So the first thing you want to do is obviously you're going to go to streamelements.com. Okay, so this is the main page it'll take you to. As you can see here, mine's already, my account is already connected to my main Twitch account. So you're going to log in, connect it, verify it, all that good stuff. And you're going to click on Dashboard. So anytime you go to your Stream Elements, this is where you go, basically, okay? So right now, we have our main Twitch channel connected. Let's go ahead and start with the bot commands, okay? So your main, your main chat commands. So if I go over here to the, the little bot section, you can see the drop-down menu. Go to chat commands. And then these are all the custom commands I have made for my channel. There are some pre-made ones on here. You can check some of these out and see if you want any of these. If you don't, turn them off, whatever the case might be. It's all up to you. Um, but I, like I said, I have my own custom ones. So we're going to go ahead and make a new custom command. And I'm going to show you guys how this works really quick. I'm sure a ton of people have done this on YouTube already, but I've had some people ask me personally, and I figured it'd be a great little series for me to make my own and how I use it. So here we go. So like I said, let's make a new command. We're going to click add new command. You can see here we got settings and advanced settings. New command. I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to go over here. Command name. This is going to be G. Fuel. Why I don't have this command already, I don't know, but I should. So over here we have user level. You have everyone, subscribers, regulars. This is, has to do with stream elements. I don't use regulars. VIPs of your channel or mods of your channel. Super mod is also stream elements thing. I don't use either one of those. I only use mod VIP, sub, and everyone. The other ones I don't really mess with. And then obviously broadcaster is yourself. But for this one, we're just going to do everyone. So anyone that pumps into my Twitch channel can use this command, okay? So whenever you use this command, here's what we want this bot to say, right? And I'll get to the bot here in just a minute. Right now, we're going to focus on a command. So what I want this bot to say is my favorite G Fuel flavors are peach, mango, fruit, punch, green, apple, and... Bahama Mama. So that right there is going to be the current G Fuel command. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not an affiliate or partnered or anything with G Fuel. I just enjoy the flavors that they have and I drink it. So there you go. I don't have any codes or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I still want to use this as a command. Again, I don't know why I haven't set this up a long time ago, but we're doing it now. So, so basically right now, this is what it looks like if anyone pops into my chat. If we go over here to advanced settings, and basically this right here is telling us we can only activate this command if I'm streaming, or if I'm off, if I'm offline, I'll also play, or both. And I want this command to be available both. Whether I'm streaming or not, I want it to be, I want people to be able to use this command. And then how the bot responds, 
I don't want it to whisper to you. I don't really want it to at you or reply to you directly. I just want it to say it in the chat. Just in general, you know? So that's what that's for. Command cost. This is if you use a currency. I will go over the currency part of stream elements in a future video. If you if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. That'll be out. But for now, I'm going to leave it at zero. We're not worried about it. I don't really use the command cost for anything in stream elements anyways. So, But I will show you guys how it works. And then we have cooldown. User cooldown. So if the same person tries to use this, it's not going to work. They have to wait another 15 seconds. However, if they use it, wait another five seconds, someone else can use the same command. That make, Hopefully that makes sense. But for each individual, it's 15 seconds. Between different individuals, it's five seconds. And then down here we have basically just other terms and stuff you can use. I usually just leave all of these blank. I, I don't know. I would rather someone actually put the command in in order for this command, you know, to work. That's kind of how it works. So let's go ahead and go scroll down a little bit here and we're going to click activate. So now we have a new command called G Fuel. And this is what it will, it will respond with is this paragraph right in here. So that's all good. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up your bot account. So let's go to my Twitch page here, you guys. This is my main Twitch channel. You guys can see my name right here, Dakota. The O is a zero, but again, links in the description. If you guys really want to check it out, drop a follow. I'd appreciate it. Basically, the way this works, you guys, is you're going to go up here to the top right. Click on your little profile icon. You're going to go down to settings. And then once you get into settings, you're going to go over to security and privacy. Click on that. The second box that you see as of right now, this may change in the future, but as of right now, you're going to look for a box that says enable additional account creation. So that way, the email you use to set up your main account, you can use that exact same email to set up your bot account. You're going to turn this on. You're going to go create your account. I can show you guys right here. Here's my bot account, Dakota, and then bot. It's almost the same thing. Very, very close, right? Let's get rid of that. And then you're going to go back into your main account. You can turn this back off and you're good to go. And uh, whenever you do set up the bot account, just so that way you guys can see it, I'm going to go to settings again, security. Uh, you can see up here that I have verified it, the bot account as well. So make sure you verify it. So you have your bot account, your bot account's good, you, you know. Now, how do you get your bot account in here? So we're in Stream Elements on the website, right? We have our main account co connected. How do we get our bot account to be the one that says our commands and not Stream Elements? Well, the way you do this, you guys, if you don't have obs.live installed, go over here on the, on the left side, obs.live, and you're gonna download this. Even if you haven't downloaded OBS before, if you click on this, it'll download everything you need. And as you guys can see, you'll have your activity feed, you'll have your chat, media requests, which mine's turned off. I'll show you guys all that in a minute. But follow this, download the appropriate versions that you need for whatever Windows you're running or whatever you're on, and you're good to go, okay? So now what you're going to do, you guys are gonna see picture and picture mode here for a few minutes, but just bear with me. I'll show you guys how this works. So, so this is what the obs.live looks like. Can you see down here at the bottom? obs.live powered by stream elements. This is what I use. This is what I'm recording this video with right now, which is why you see the bars down here moving the microphone. So what you're going to do now, you guys, because you use the same email for your bot account, as you did your main account, I'm pretty sure that's why this works since you already have it set up in the first place. So you're going to go up here to activity feed. You're going to click on this menu. Okay. Click on that. Here's my main Twitch channel. You're going to go below that stream settings. You can change the title, the game you're playing. You can have it show how many viewers you have. Mine's turned off. Stressful. Hotkeys. You can set up hotkeys. I don't use hotkeys, so that's not on there. Custom bot name. Click on this. 
and it says change the bot name on your Twitch channel chat. Okay, so if I click on this, you guys can see so obviously stream elements is going to be an option because, well, that's how this obs.live is functioning. And it's basically like a little extension. And then I also have my Twitch account connected through my email. So I, this email has two Twitch accounts, my main account, my bot account. I click on my bot account, and whenever I type a command in chat or over here or whatever, it will respond with the bot account. Now, if you're not live, and some of your commands can be activated when you're not live, it'll say stream elements because you're not live. But because I have obs.live open and I'm using it to record, it's still going to show Dakota bot. So that's understandable because technically, you know, OBS is open. So let's go ahead and try out that new command really quick. What did we say? Exclamation G fuel. And we hit enter. And there we go. The bot responds as it should. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is you do need to mod stream elements in your bot account. And the way you do that, you guys, is very simple. And over in your actual chat, you're going to type in slash mod a space and then you're going to type in stream elements i still didn't spell it right l nince i keep forgetting the m there we go so you're going to type that in <laughs> and you hit enter or chat you guys can see it's already a mod of my channel i don't have to worry about it for you it'll probably say so and so is now a mod of your channel you're going to do the same thing with your bot account slash mod a space whatever the name of your bot account is spell it out exactly how it is but yeah i would type that in hit enter and it would probably say the same thing since it's already a mod the way you know if it's a mod you're on your page here click on the little people here at the top it'll say users in chat you guys can see dakota pot and stream elements are both in here so we're good to go all right guys so that's basically how i have mine set up uh if you guys are curious again if you go to my twitch page you do exclamation commands it'll give you a list it'll give you a link to a list of all the commands for my channel some of them are only available when i'm live some of them you can use them when i'm live or not live it just depends on what the command is but if you guys are ever interested that's how you see what i have again links in the description if you guys are interested and if I did miss anything in this video, please, please, please let me know. Oh, I, I, I've been thinking about making this video for so long now, and I've been having trouble to figure out how to actually record this video, but hopefully this somewhat explains it, works out a little bit, we'll see, but I don't know. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a different part series type of videos, so stay tuned because I will make more of these going over most of the website in general for stream elements or OBS. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.